So we've been in Belitung for close to a month and it's time to get a move on, as in pack up and check out of Indonesia since our visa is nearing an end. Since you've been frolicking in the turquoise waters with us this whole time, we thought you might be interested to know more about the place. It's actually a pretty interesting little island. Most information gathered groups Belitung and the neighbouring island of Bangka together, and the majority of today's inhabitants are of Chinese descent, followed closely by Javanese. As early as the 7th century, Belitung fell under southern Sumatran rule. Much later in the 14th century and on, it was under the influence of both eastern and central Java. The Dutch arrived in 1806. It was then occupied by the British in 1812 during the Napoleonic Wars, returned to the Dutch again in 1816 and absorbed into the Dutch East Indies. Lankur Lighthouse was built in 1882 by the Dutch colony government. In 1950, Banka and Belitung Islands became part of the Republic of Indonesia, governed by the province of Southern Sumatra, again. In 2000, Banka and Belitung split from Southern Sumatra and became their very own province. Yay! Interestingly, tin mining has been a pillar of their economy for centuries. Tin mining is responsible for much of the area's ethnic diversity, having attracted labourers from abroad to work both legally and illegally in the mines. Belitung is a source of tin, clay, iron ore and silica sands. Here's a cool fact. The Dutch mining company NV Billiton can't pronounce this word, derives its name from the island's name Belitung. Billiton merged with BHP in 2001 to form the largest diversified resources company, BHP Billiton. Banker and Belitung's mining accounts for 90% of Indonesia's tin output, and the tin holding together the circuit boards and components of your phone, laptop and tablet likely came from here. Many of the world's top electronic producers have acknowledged that tin sourced from Banker Belitung is used in their supply chains. While satiating the global hunger for tin products, tin mining is of course having a devastating impact on Belitung's landscape. With the global demand for tin often exceeding supply, the prevalence of illegal tin mining has increased. Extraction takes place both onshore and offshore, and it can be dangerous work. The island's tropical landscape is now littered with thousands of white craters contaminated with acidic water and heavy metals. But, more recently, many of the old tin mines are being repurposed into palm oil plantations. Lesser of two evils? Who knows? Bellaton grows many crops, of which we found particularly interesting is the abundance of black pepper fields. Ovan mentioned Banker grows more white pepper. Although we could ramble on about Belitung for hours because it's truly a fascinating corner of the earth, it's best we wrap it up. And we didn't even get a chance to cover these cute little guys. So the final piece of cool info. Due to the unique soil composition, Belitung is home to a super cool meteorite stone or tektite named Batu Satam. Found originally by tin miners, the stone is jet black and glossy as if finished with a varnish similar to onyx but with deep grooves and pits. The locals think these stones are magical and they are often gifted to newlyweds. They were formed when meteorites impacted Earth and mixed with the highly acidic soil some 14 million years ago. Wow. Good morning, Blue Moonies. Today is a big day. No, today's just another day, but today we're checking out of Indonesia. Only to go and check back in again in a short while anyway, but we don't really have an option. We have to leave because our visa's up and uh, yeah, the visas here are terrible for cruises. So yeah, the best option for us is to check out here in Belitung uh, and then kind of just make our way slowly into Malaysia um, where we'll check into Malaysia probably do some provisioning and then check out and check back into Indonesia in Anambas so that's what we're gonna do because flying out of Belitung at the moment it's like $600 or more it's, it's almost $800 if we want a nice comfortable flight that isn't gonna take a thousand hours so yeah so we're up, we're showered, we've had coffee, about to have some granola for breakfast. 
And yeah, we'll, we'll dingy into Irvine's and he's going to take us into town and we'll run around and see the harbour master and immigration and blah, 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 and blah, blah, blah. Uh, then we'll bring them back out to the boat and they can pull apart all the cupboards and inspect everything and make sure we don't, we're not harbouring any illegal immigrants. There's one in the, in the engine room. Yeah. I'm in my undies. So Dylan's filling in some paperwork, like a good, like a good captain. And yeah, we're kind of wearing our, getting dressed. Excuse me, I'm in my bra, I'm my crop top. Wearing long, long skirt. So to be respectful at immigration, Dylan is wearing his jeans. Got the docks. I'm not sure if we need this. Certificate of registration for the old blue moon. Look at the color of the water here. We're back to our favorite spot. You can see why it's uh, stunning. Oh, stunning. Oh my God. And we've got our little nifty uh, carabiner trick back. We had a carabiner ages ago and Yodis used to like scoff at us and we'd go over to their boat. They'd be like, what's this? And they'd untie the carabiner. And now we've got it back. It's just the best. It ain't on you, just At the break of dawn, look out your window and I'll be gone. You're the reason that I'm traveling on. Don't think twice. So that's how you fill up fuel tank in Indonesia. Nah, not everywhere. Most places have fuel bowsers. And if you're on a scooter, you just fill up from an absolute vodka bottle, don't you, on the side of the road. But if you have a car, you go to an actual gas station or servo if you're an Australian. But here I've noticed they've got a lot more of those bigger bottles. Yeah, here they've got these big bottles that's going on here. Like, what's that, five, ten litres or something? Yeah, something like that, yeah. Five. Yeah, just on the side of the road. <laughs> I mean, that gets you around, I suppose. But then uh, in Tanjun Pandan, the main town, I'm pretty sure there was a few gas stations. Yeah. Yeah, or servos. Also, tune! Got a barn taking us to the immigration today. Got to go to Immigrasi, um, and then customs. And then we've got to take customs back to the barn's place, jump on a boat, take them to the boat, bring them back and then meet them back in their office. Big day. We've arrived at immigration. Immigrasi. Yeah. Hello. Hello, buddy. Hi, buddy. Um, we're going to check out if you are today. Turn it on, you're back. Your phone and also your tourists. Your good identity. I'm writing over my pencil. Dylan's rewriting it because he wrote an immigration document with a pencil. <laughs> so they're going to stamp us to check out tomorrow, which is good. So we'll have an extra day to run around and do what we need to do. I think in the morning we'll probably grab a scooter and um, go to that little market that's really close by. It's where I got the eggs the other day for Matt's birthday. I just noticed the uh, wallpaper is covering the windows. And <laughs> See up here. Off to customs. Here we are. This is our ship health book, whatever that means. Got all sorts of official looking stuff in it. Did anyone die on the passage of any dead bodies aboard? Did it ask that where? It has asked that before. Yeah. It does. It asks you if anyone died on passage. I guess that's a valid question. Like, you don't want to come out to your boat and start inspecting well, it, person, and you just be. That person is isn't a crew member anymore. Out of a country and you yeah. can't check in a dead body. Can you? I don't know. Can you check in a dead body? <laughs> All that. <laughs> I'll do that. <laughs> Dylan, are we on again? We're on. <laughs> We're at quarantine. What's going on with this weird thing? 
Maximum Hallo. 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 Uh, we're checking out. Yeah. 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 Yeah
want my bubble gum The sun is out and I want some It's no hard, no far to reach We can get you right, you right Thanks for joining us always, week after week. Catch us in next week's episode as we bid farewell to our beloved island home and make our way out into the great unknown. I even make some new fishermen friends. Sailing Blue Moon videos are made possible by our patrons and viewers just like you. If you'd like to support our content creation while receiving perks in return, you might consider becoming a patron. Or maybe you'd just like to buy us a beer or donate to the Sailing Kitty via PayPal. Every little bit counts and we'll be sure to give a shout out. If you enjoy our content, you can help us out by liking this video and subscribing if you haven't already. Don't forget to click the bell to the right to be notified of new episodes. We'd also love to hear from you, the viewer, so hit us up in the comments below. And lastly, you can follow us in real time on Instagram and Facebook. As always, thanks for watching Blue Moonies.